but supposedly you can take a battery on a vehicle that will not start the dead battery will put enough juice in these super capacitors for the capacitors to start your vehicle hey everybody welcome back i got something a little different here for you today this is the auto wit for those of y'all that run into trouble with your batteries dying or your wife leaving the headlights on when she's in the grocery store or the mall i know a bunch of you seen the what i call little boost boxes that you you know it's a battery built in that you charge and keep in the trunk and you can hook it up and get a little emergency jump start this is something new this doesn't have a battery you hook this to your car when your battery's dead, won't start. It has what they call super capacitors in it. And it'll got a little chart and we'll get that out in a minute. And we're gonna try to demonstrate this product here for you and see how it works. We haven't used it as new, but supposedly you can take a battery on a vehicle that will not start. The dead battery will put enough juice in these super capacitors for the capacitors to start your vehicle. I know, I'm thinking the same thing. Let's find out. This is a 1993 Chevrolet. Got the 4.3 in it. Got over 400,000 miles on this truck. Still a good truck. He wouldn't trade it for 10 new ones. But what we're fixing to do here in just a minute, we're going to try to start it up and see if we can either let this be a success or... Let it be a failure. All right, getting some of the stuff out the pack here. Here's your time chart. If you use the cables and clamp it on to a, an, another vehicle that's a 12 volt or a 12 volt power source, it'll take three minutes to charge the capacitors up. If you've got, if your dead battery that's not cranking hooks to them, It'll take uh, 20 minutes with 6 volts. It takes 30 minutes with a USB like you charge your phone with. And there's a USB charger and there's a cigarette lighter charger. Pretty neat. If this, if this really works, that's pretty neat setup. Alright, try it and let's see what it'll do. Uh oh, all right, she ain't got nothing. Let's um, see if we can hook a set of, hook a tester up and see what the volts we got before we actually hook this machine up and see what it does. Let's see what it's showing. Dang, it's still showing 11 3, but y'all hear it clicking and it won't do nothing. All right, we're fixing to hook the auto weed up and see what it'll do. All right, we're fixing to hook it up here. And what they say in is that once you get it hooked and the connection's made, it's gonna beep to let you know that it's charging. Okay? That says it's charging, and when it beeps again, we'll bring y'all back and let you know how long it's been and see what it does. Okay, right here it's showing charging. Volts is 10.6, 10.5 at 43%. So we'll keep an eye on this and keep you up to date. Got you a timer going, so when it beeps, we'll have an official count for you. It's showing... 9.1 volts 99 percent yeah, look at there got it on video and your timer that was two minutes and 51 seconds mm -hmm. all right i can't believe i happened to have my phone going all right y'all just saw it charging saw the voltage and it's power zone all right what you do is when i press this button it's gonna make a beep that gives you 10 seconds to go get in the vehicle then it's going to make a continuous beep. Then you try to crank it. So let's see what it does. Okay, that should be a 10 seconds. Mm 
Yep. How about that, y'all? That thing ripped it off. All right, we just started it. Y'all saw it. Try it again. Let's see if it'll start back. Nothing. All right, we're going to hook it up and then go through it one more time just for just to double check this thing and see if it's really doing what it seems like it's doing. All right, we just hooked it back up. It's showing 9.4, 9.3 volts. And the auto wit is 91% charged. Y'all, it's seeming like this thing here might be the next thing since sliced bread. Being there, it ain't no battery in it. If you throw it in your trunk and don't need it for a year, it don't matter that if it, because there's nothing in here to go dead. It's not a battery, it's capacitors. All right, 8.8 .8 volts in the battery, 99% charge. Y'all, literally, that was like 45 seconds, a minute at the max. We fixing to fire it back up again. All right, let's hit the button. It'll give you the little beeps for the 10 seconds to go get in your truck or car. She's still beeping. Here we go. Auto wit Super Cap 2 Jump Start. All right, y'all. I've got to say that I give this Auto wit a big thumbs up. I'm pretty sure you can get them on Amazon. I'm not even going to say I'll leave a link because I don't know how to leave a link. But if you'll look up Auto wit through Amazon, I'm pretty sure you'll find them. And when we run across a good product like this, my father-in-law got it for his, he likes to have stuff like this. And I was fortunate enough to be close by and figured we'd come make a test video being we had a dead battery and I give her a thumbs up. Y'all make sure y'all check them out. Appreciate you watching. Have a good one.